Hey everyone, thanks for being here. My name is Paul Strohmeyer. I'm presenting barefoot on behalf of my colleagues from the Saarland University HCI lab. Let's jump right into it. The problem we're addressing is when we walk through the physical world, we have all kinds of material experiences as we do so. And in augmented reality or virtual reality, everything currently is visual and we don't have these tactile experiences. So the way we approach this is we, um, well, in this example, you see me stepping on a bunch of branches and the tactile impulses I'm getting, they are proportional to how I'm moving. So if we watch this again, you'll see that these branches snap and crack in sync with how I'm interacting with them. So we have a very simple model here where if you assume this is time and pressure increases in this direction, we separate pressure into kind of these discrete bins. And here, as I put my foot down, and when the pressure exceeds a bin, it creates a tactile impulse. And then if I'm steady, there are very few pulses. And here, when I lift my foot, um, because I'm transcending these bins very rapidly, um, because of that, there's a rapid sequence of pulses here too. Um, so, what did we actually build? What did we implement for this paper? We built a shoe. Well, we added tactile actuators to a shoe, and we embedded a pressure sensor inside of a shoe, and we added electronic to it here for sampling the pressure sensor and actuating these actuators, as I just described in the previous picture. And then we also created um, an application for quickly prototyping textures that you can experience with your feet um, and sending them from a Unity application to a shoe. So in this example, um, Dennis here, he's walking on a virtual texture. And as he's stepping from the wood texture to the snow texture, Unity sends one of these textures to the shoe and the shoe switches. And when he steps on it, he feels the new texture. Uh, the texture rendering happens entirely in the shoe. All that Unity or the software you saw before is doing is it sends a new texture to the shoe. We use this platform for a bunch of experiments. Um, I'm going to just describe a very small sliver of what we did experimentally. Here we looked at the effects of increasing the number of bins, basically increasing the granularity um, of such a pressure interaction. This is perceived as compliance. And we looked at how is this compliance perceived. Specifically, we looked at salience. How clearly do you feel compliance at all? And then we looked at some qualia, like what type of compliance are you feeling? So let's start with, uh, with depth. So on this graph, you see four of us rating how deep they felt the illusion was. Um, higher ratings means you feel it deeper. And you see that with increasing number of grains, the experience of depth also increases. Um, but only to a certain point, and then it kind of stagnated. Uh, this is interesting in the context of salience, where we felt that for very low number of grains, um, the effect was not very strong. And then also very high number of grains, we did not feel, felt very good either. But there's this range in between where the experience of compliance is very clear, clear to feel. And this is interesting because it shows that you can create an experience of compliance, which you can clearly perceive with different properties. So over here, it might be compliance of very deep nature and over here with fewer grains, it might be very shallow compliance. So this shows how you can kind of play with these things. So what can you do with this? Um, one of the first things we did is we made a bunch of games which were kind of based around this idea that you needed to probe a material with your feet. So in this case, uh, you could imagine that there are planks which are not very strong, so you need to probe them to make sure that you don't fall. Um, this is just a very simple first thing that we implemented. There's a lot more information in our paper, um, but for now, this is all that I can present. Please get in touch with us. Um, we love to talk about these things, and thank you so much for your attention.